the first question, we're going to go straight to it because it is actually why you find yourself on the front page of one of the newspapers. I say it's the Daily Mail, which is um, fair to say not necessarily known for its fulsome support of the Labour Party. Uh, no. But indeed. Well, let's get that question out there. Jonathan in Taunton. Jonathan, you're on the radio. Your question to Sakir. Go ahead. Morning, Jonathan. Good morning. Hi, Good morning. Jonathan. Um, Look, you've been very vociferous and vocal on your attacks on Boris Johnson and his behaviour regards regard these parties that he either has or hasn't attended. Um, and yet you've done exactly the same. And although you're, you will couch it differently, you have done exactly the same thing. You're in a closed room with a load of people, not socially distanced, no face masks, drinking beer late at night. It's the same. And if you, if, therefore, you should also resign if you're calling for Boris Johnson to or make a full and fulsome apology to everybody and stop being a hypocrite. Well, uh, Jonathan, the picture of me was in a constituency off- office up in the northeast. It was, I think, three or four days before the May election, so we we're really busy. I was my- with my team going across the country from place to place. We were in the office, working in the office, um, and we stopped for a takeaway, and then we carried on working. And that is the long and the short of it. There was no breach of the rules. Um, there was no party and there was absolutely no comparison with the Prime Minister. And, you know, let's um, look at what the Prime Minister is facing. He is facing allegations of numerous parties. Only last week, uh, Downing Street had to apologise to the Queen that there were parties, I think two parties, uh, on the evening before Prince Philip's funeral with suitcases of wine being wheeled into but Downing Street. So uh, there's simply no comparison. But you were breaking restrictions in that you were with people from not just one other household. Nick, the restrictions allowed people to work where they needed to. We were running an election campaign. We were in a constituency office, so I was with my team, as the Prime Minister will have been at the time. He and I were going across the country with our teams. So you were allowed into work um, uh, to do your work, which is what we were doing in the office. And Nick, just to put this into context, at this stage, no restaurants were open, no pubs were open, the hotel we were staying in had no food. They didn't run food. So if you didn't get a takeaway, then our team wasn't eating that but, evening. D- but how many people were there in total? Well, I normally uh, normally have about six with me. I, whether it was six or not, I don't know. Usually when I'm travelling around the country, we have about six people And just to clarify, it was in Mary Foy's office, I assume, was it in Durham? It was in her constituency office, In her constituency, yeah. indeed. Yeah. OK. So why is drinking within a constituency office in Durham during a working meeting permissible while having drinks outside in the garden after a busy day or continued work is not permissible. Well, Nick, if you look at that picture of the drinks outside at Downing Street, if I recall, and you'll correct me if I'm wrong, um, the Prime Minister's on the terrace. I think he's got his wife and his his child with him. Yes. Um, I'm not saying... Dominic Cummings is opposite. I'm not saying you shouldn't have your wife and child at work, but it doesn't look like a work meeting. And if I recall, if you look further across... The photograph. There's then trestle tables on the grass, which have got bottles of wine on them. That is a million miles away from a takeaway in a constituency office between meetings. And when Nadim Zahawi, I remind the listeners, who is a senior Conservative politician, points out that situations like that, the Prime Minister has apologised. You should, at the very least, apologise for the look that you have given. How would you respond to Nadim Zahawi and others for the look that has come across that you're drinking beer with colleagues at a time when others, as we know, were not able to say farewell to relatives, go to funerals, everything else? Well, I think um, it's very straightforward. Um, I w- it was a very busy time. It was three days before the, or three or four days before the Boris Johnson local say it was elections. A very busy time. Uh, we were working in the office, Boris Johnson uh, and, a, t- a, and a takeaway turned up, and Boris we stopped Johnson. and we ate it. No, I mean, you Nick, won't on, honestly, um, you know, part, two parties the night before Prince Philip's funeral with uh, with suitcases. Uh, uh, I think uh, I think your point of a culture is well made. It's very well um, made. I'm not suggesting a culture within you, but just for the look that it gave, Sakira. Are you prepared to apologise? Nick, we didn't break any rules. We were working in the office and we stopped for a take uh, This is a, this is, a, you know, I understand what's going on here, which is okay. exactly what happened with Owen Patterson and that. There comes a point at which the Tories okay. try to take everybody into the gutter with them. Fair, and that's fair, what's fair, happening But just here. for the final, just, you, for the look of it, you're not prepared to apologise. No, we did nothing wrong. Okay. 